Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and let's get ready for Knockout TV. Welcome to Knockout TV. Tim Pileski with The Voice. Michael Buffer, you know, I've said this. People have asked me, who has the greatest job in the world? And I always say Michael Buffer. Is this the greatest job in the world? I don't know if it's the greatest <laughs> job in the world, but it's a pretty good one. I don't think it's one that I would trade too soon. It's, all right, what's, I mean, going to events, what's the greatest perk? Well, you know what, the greatest perk for a boxing fan, which I am, right. is to get to do this. I'm in the middle of the ring. I get to see these guys up close. You know, I, I, I have to be professional and do my job. But then I get to sit there and what's the best thing for a fight fan? Watching a fight. Exactly. At ringside, the best seat in the house. Well, you have the golden voice. You just had a little, some medical issues with your voice. Uh, yeah. How's things I, going with that? Is everything okay? It was, uh, it's throat cancer. Okay. I'm in recovery. Uh, I was blessed with like really good doctors. Uh, I had a lot of stuff removed, uh, but they left my voice. So uh, all I can say is, to anybody out there, if something doesn't feel right, I discovered like a lump okay. on my neck and got it checked right away. And uh, it was stage two, you know, you get to three and four, you, you got problems. And uh, I just want to say that uh, prevention is the best medicine and just get it taken care of right away when you find something. Absolutely, and we, we, we do wish you all the Thanks best. A lot. Now, sitting ringside, favorite fight of all time that you sat ringside for that really stands out? You know, my favorite moment, before I go to the favorite okay. fight, my favorite moment was when Foreman knocked out Michael Moore. I love Michael Moore. It's got nothing to do with, like, you know. Sure. But the moment, the, the way the air sucked out of the building when all of a sudden Michael Moore went down, it was, like, unbelievable. I mean, it was just breathtaking. Uh, favorite fight. Um, Duran, Iran Barkley. February of 89 in Atlantic City, 18 inches of snow. Somehow every <laughs> fan showed up. And uh, on a split decision, Roberto Duran became uh, middleweight champion of the world. That's great, great fight. Great, great, great fight. fight. Now, one last question. When they handed you a scorecard, mm -hmm. okay, and you looked at the scorecard and you said, oh, no, 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 I can't announce this. Has there any, ever been a situation that the decision in your eyes was so poor that yeah, you had I, to say that I, you're going to be the I, bad guy? I won't say what state <laughs> or, or, or when or where or anything, but it, it was quite a while ago. Okay. And uh, I got a scorecard, the three judges scores, and uh, it wasn't what I saw, and I knew it wasn't going to be what the fans saw. Not that, you know, from further away ringside, they always have the best view, but, and I actually thought, because it does happen, that, you know, maybe they made a mistake. Sure. So I gave it back to the um, supervisor, <laughs> and I said, are you sure about this? And I got one of these. I forget how the response was. I'll paraphrase it. Something like, um, do you want to keep your license? <laughs> <laughs> something to that effect. And, uh, but it was, um, it was kind of weird. But hey, it happens. It does happen. Mm -hmm. It happens. Michael Buffer, we wish you all the best in health. Thanks, Tim. And I appreciate you coming on Knockout TV. Always good to see you. Absolute pleasure. Right. Thank you so much, Michael Buffer.